Good day. Welcome to African Youth Invention, the AYI Training Center. My name is Emery Lukombo. I will be discussing about Forex trading. This is a video word two of three. Uh, on this video, I will discuss about the terminology of um, Forex trading. And then video three, it's we're gonna focus about explaining the entire program for MetaTrader. Uh, trading terminology. What is a PAP? PAP stands for percentage in point, also known a price interest point. Currency are trade in pair, one against the other. So you're trading a currency. If the dollar is lower, I need to buy my dollar in rent. So this verse, I can buy a rent or I can buy a dollar. I can sell a rent. So one currency is acting of buying and the other currency is acting on selling. Uh, when the one goes up in the volume, the other come down of this vessel. The movement is recorded in decimal number. It decimal is called a pipe. Example, euro versus USD. If we go in the uh, meta trader, you will see here all the currency are given in red. Here we got uh, euro at 1.62581 and Canadian dollar is uh, 1.46752. If we take a long position, you have a profit of 10 pipe. So if I subtract this one, so I have a 10 pipe that I'm benefiting. Because why the, it's going long position. A long position is a terminology that you use in uh, Forex. So long position means it's when it's starting from here, when it's going up, that's a long position. Now, which means if you see your, your trade is going to long position, you must buy. Because like you're buying it yet in lower price and it's going up. Now, when you're in the ups here, you want to go down here, that's a short uh, position because it's going down, it's going shorter. So now you must sell. Now you only buy here, you don't buy here or you don't buy here, you buy here. Now to have a clear understanding, I'm going to go to the, the software. In between this currency, I'm using Euro and um, USD. Now when it's going up here, actually uh, the price is changing. I'm buying at a lower price. And then it's going up and down. But when it come here, I'm a sell because now I have a higher price. It must go down to short man. Now this position is called a long position. So like here, I showed a buy point. So I buy from here and then when it's going up here, I'm taking a profit. But if I buy from here and it's going in the short position and then I'm losing. Now example of here, euro and the USD. So the euro is 1.510 and it's moved to 1.520. Uh, now, if it's going the short year, I am gonna lose because like it's gonna be a vice versa because this price here, this ratio vary. At the moment, it's ten, it's twenty, but in a few seconds it can vary. This can go down and this can go up. Uh, if I go to the meta trader and I open the meta trader, you will see here. Uh, look, the price out vary. This is uh, uh, nine, nine three, it's nine three, and then this is go twenty nine. You see 26 and it's changing down. Now they vary. Now sometimes when it vary, only one of them going down and one going up. Now that's the, like the two currency are fighting. One gonna go up, one gonna go down. Or oh, he's gonna go up, or he's gonna go down. Now the one dominate go up and then other one down. Now yeah, now you must be careful when you are buying and then when you are selling so that to avoid confusion. And this can happening in second or in a week or in a day or in a minute or in a month that variations now that difference between the two currency it's what we call a pipe because that's like the person that you owning so if to go in the right direction you actually making profit but if it's got the wrong direction you are losing example I want to show you I put a direction here here I buy a point I show you can see here like I buy the same places so let's say this is the same chart, the same uh, uh, meta tip. And I buy here, but on this one, I buy here. But when I buy here, it just went up on a long portion and then changed the portion, got short part. On the other side, it went up and then changed the portion. So on this one, I am getting a profit. But on this one, I am losing because I'm losing a lot. And then I can even lose all the money that I put inside. Now that's a difference between them. So need to understand this. And then a lot, a lot is the amount of money that you, you, you paying for trade. And I did open this just to uh, finish the video. I only put a small of money, I didn't put too much money. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't have too much money dollar. Uh, now, but when I am buying here, yeah, when I'm giving an order, I'm gonna come here by uh, new, and then I give an order. I will sell or I will buy. Now, this is my lot. I must be careful how much I'm using there. If I use a lot of money, it can if it's going the wrong direction. Let's say I buy, I buy from here, and then let's say I buy for uh, one lot. One lot is a lot. Now, if it's going up here, I can that one multiply by the percent of um, of my pipe. That's how much money I will gain profit from here. But if let's say I don't get out of the market. And then I was maybe confusing or left, and the market changed. From here, you can see the market change. It's changed direction, and then it go down. So this is where I enter. So this is like my reference. If I can put like this one here, I put like this. This is like my reference. Now, when the money going up here, when it's going down here, yes, come back on the normal rate. From here, I'm losing. So from here, I am getting a profit because I buy, but. When I came here, I need to get out. I need to get out of the market because the market is no is changing direction. But let's say I say no, I let it go. By mistake and it change because this can happen in a second or in a minute. Very confusing. It's gonna happen straight like this in a minute. Now by mistake and it change direction. So when it's a rich year, I go back to my normal amount. Like if you see it is hundred here, hundred eight, it's got the my 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 equity it's 80 it's go back to 80 but if it go down here it's gonna take all my money my equity if this equity go to zero and then it, then i lost all my hundred year that i put here it's gone now that you must be careful on what you are doing you need to understand what you are doing because if you don't know what you're doing you will regret and then come back and complain and say uh, this thing it's a scam or a losing a money because you need to understand the theory and now on this case here you only use a, a, a big lot if you have uh, a big capital like i cannot make uh, a order of one of one lot if i do not have enough capital so if i can put a big amount of lot but if i don't have too much money I must be careful because the same way you gaining a profit the same way they're also going to lose the money so to avoid not to not affecting my equity here it must not affect so i can still have a time to trade more trade more other currency maybe there's a benefit there's a profit like here if maybe like i come here it's starting to go up and i buy from here i'll get a lot of profit but if my equity go to zero i cannot trade anymore now i need to avoid to, to buy to sell or buy with a big lot now that's it's what we call a, a lot so lot mean it's a minimum of money that you can use to trade so the standard lot it's one stand for equal to 100 thousand units so it's like when i order i give my new orders i'm gonna use here i'm gonna come here and choose one now which means i can sell i can buy depend of my market i look at my market then i can i can sell or buy it's gonna give me hundred thousand uni one unit now if you play with zero point ten is a minimum equal to ten uni and then the zero point one it's a macro lot uh, equal to 1000 units. Now, most people, people play with 001, like I currently play with this one because why? Loss, I'm not a loss a lot. But if you play for this one here with a standard lot, you must be careful. You must make sure you have enough capital. If you don't have enough capital, it's difficult. Now, that's why you see other people making a million, other people don't make a million. The difference is that if you put more money in anything and then if there's a benefit you also gain a lot of money there is a buy also no as a long position as discussed you only buying when the traders go on long position um and uh, as well you only sell as no uh, sell also as no as a short position so you only sell when it's time going to a short position so you only sell when you are here and you only buy when you are here so be careful so when you are here and you can run now once you are buying or once you are selling it's called a market order market order is to buy or to sell a currency price now i'm gonna buy a market by using a lot a lot which is the price that you're buying as we discussed now now once you buy it is what we call a ask and a bid a bid price is a, is the highest price that a buyer is willing to pay for a good and the ask is a 
the price that a seller wanted to offer. Now, to understand this, if I go to the program here, and then I open here, this is a bid and this is asking. Now, mostly here, you are buying. So if you want to buy, you are you this what you're using. And if you want to sell, you're using this one. This is a New Zealand versus US, uh, US. Now, you are trading between New Zealand and US. Now, you must look at now here, yeah, who's going down. Let's say uh, US, uh, it's lower. Then I must buy a US in New Zealand. Let's say New Zealand is going down and then uh, ask is going up, which is the US. Now, I must sell. Uh, so you're only buying we on this pair because you're gonna find a pair like this version you're, you're gonna find some pair where you're gonna have a us on a bid and a new zealand on a pair but on this year we've got a new zealand land on the bid and then there are so on this pair i only buy a us in new zealand if the us is going down sometimes it's very confusing but the benefit of this which we call indicators will help you to show what's going in the market so you can learn this or you can look because this is like mathematically you need to understand sometimes you know what a market what's going in the world uh what's going in new zealand and what's going to us and what's going so you can decide yourself are you gonna sell or you're gonna buy now you will decide according to bid and ask so make sure ask it's for selling and then bid is for buying so if this is lower then i will buy this one here and then i'll wait when this is go higher then i sell it like here uh, my indicators it shows me uh, the market is changing here so what i can do here, i can go give a new order but i'll put a small lot i can tap here point Now here I sell, and when I sell from here, because I look at the, the market is going down here, and these are the indicators which is you need to understand to do a patch call, and then I sell here, and then I sell, and I put I put my order, and you can see here, because why uh, the market, you see, now it's going down here. Now you can see here, in a few seconds, it was here, and then it swapped here. Now, most of like uh, people who trade with scalper, uh, they buy for big of a more big lot, and then from here, and they get out. This is how things are happening. In a few seconds, things can change. In a few minutes, things can change. Now, I just need to wait. Now, let's say, if, yeah, I just use example of a small. If I did say, I did one dollar. You will see before here, I will have already maybe like uh, 20 or maybe 10 already. Now, it depends on how much lot you buy and that's how much you're going to score. The difference between bid and ask. As example, for Euro and the US, this is a bid and this is an ask. And that's the same thing I spend here on the program here. It means in order to buy one unit of Euro, you need to pay a US of 1.2, something like this. Here, the US is the ask price. And in another way, in order to sell the one unit of uh, euro, you would sell it at US one trade something like this. Now this is why. So you need to be you need to pay attention of this theory. I can read much about it. Pending order is to buy or sell a security predefined price of the future. Stop loss. Stop loss. It's uh, the purpose or risk management. I also can call it a stop loss. That is to stop the loss in the set of minimum loss if the price has moved to any uh, unprofitable direction example you set your order market into on buying then the market turn to a short position you will set a minimum of loss and limit to leave the market before it take all your equity now this other one the take profit the take profit the purpose of taking a profit is to set a maximum profit if the price has set uh, reach the maximum level you want to end. Example, you set your order market on uh, buy, then the market turn to a long position and you will set the maximum profit limit to leave the market. Now I'm going to go to the program so you can see what I mean here. Like you see here, the market was here on the video here, when I explain here. Now it's going up now here. Let's say I don't want to go up now. I can put a stop loss so what i'll do now here i'll put a stop loss i can go like this okay i'm gonna go to m15 now this is a market uh, as the market stole there i can look at my market and leave it continue like this or i can pull out 
let's say I don't trust this market now. Now I'm gonna go to the highest uh, term. Let's say just cut this on a video of three. Explain this one here. I look at the market in four hours. I actually look now here. I can see here in four hours the market look like it's going up now. Now definitely uh, on this case here. I can see uh, the indicators telling me the market to go back. So I can say, no, I'm worrying because I lose my money. And then I'm watching. The more it's going down, the more I'm scoring. Now, this movement can take a minute, second, or hour, or a day, or a month, depending on what type of uh, trading you are doing. Now, the, the point is this one here. I mean, what I say, hey, I make a mistake. I don't want to lose my money. So I can put a stop loss. If this thing go on top here, I will lose because I am selling. As explaining because I'm selling from here and this line must go down 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 so that I can gain profit but by mistakes going on top I'll lose now to avoid that I can put a stop loose like here let's say I put here so which means if to go up here uh, it can go like this or down or if you go up here if it's past my, 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 my load price and then it's go up and it's come and it's cut off so it's pull my market out of the market automatically so i'm safe so i can lose only maybe a few a few dollars not too much but let's say i don't put a, a stop loss and this can go up 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 and then it can warp all my money all my balance and i lose all my money by by putting a stop loss uh, i put my stop loss maybe uh uh put somewhere here or somewhere here or somewhere here so it's a setting so if you press here i press this twice and then I can move down up and then it's gonna be my stop loss. This is just this, this is just an example I'm showing you. So I make my stop loss say, okay. In the case to going up here, maybe it's gonna come down again. You don't put your stop loss closer to your selling price, you must put a small gap here so that it, because sometimes it's gonna balance and go down again. Like here you can see here, uh, it's balanced here and it's go down again. Balance here is go down like this here. So it's gonna balance, go a little bit up and go down again. So I put it here so that if it's go up here. Doesn't warp my money, uh, doesn't take my money, it's go down, I'm still have a chance to win. But if it go up and up and then it cut my money, yeah, that's a stop loss. And then then I take profit, I will take then take profit and take profit, I'll put down here because I am selling. So which means the most going down on the short position, I am gaining money. So I will come here and then put. Uh, put my take profit maybe somewhere here Depend but there is a procedure which you would do in protocol if you I will discuss much about this on the next video uh, So if I put this thing down here when this thing going down 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 the most going down Then I, I set my position if you reach here. I would do my calculation. Maybe I will gain maybe a Couple of dollar and I said no, this is enough. I don't want to I don't want to Go back because if it reach here to go back and I lose my money. So, but if you come here and then I don't pull out, I don't close my market. I, it may it may go back and I lose my money. But if I close my market, then I gain profit. Now, because sometimes this thing can happen a few seconds. Now, there is some theory, some philosophy you must understand, which we does much in our protocol. If you attend our protocol training, we explain those things here. Yeah, I need first to do my technical analysis. So I say, okay, I know this market will reach here. Then I so because it's not rich here, then I may score maybe I can gain a profit maybe for a couple of dollars or one dollar or two dollars or five dollars. Then I put my, my take profit. So when it's going down touch here, automatically the system remove my me out of the market, then my money go to my balance. So if it was like under eight years, maybe let's say again maybe ten years, it's now go to hundred eighteen. Now that's a benefit now that's a stop and then a lose so if i'm buying my gonna take profit will be on top and then let's say i'm buying from here so i may put my take profit on top and then my loss profit on the bottom like this maybe so what you do you want to zoom you're gonna minimize and then make a gap and then you put like i have two so you put your take profit and uh, so on the buying positions this is becoming your take profit and this is your, your loss, uh, your, your, your stop loss. And the, on, the, on the short position, this is becoming your uh, stop loss and this become your take profit because you gaining money on the bottom, on the short, and then you losing money on the top. But on the buying position, you gaining money on the top and then you losing money on the bottom.
mostly I would advise always put a stop loss because it's very important. If you make a mistake, there's no good stop loss. Like here, I'm buying here. I put a stop loss, you lose. Now, those are more stuff to discuss more in practical. Now, spread. Spread is a buy or a ask spread. Is a what you will pay to buy a currency. Example, if the currency pair is 1.1 divided by 1 pair, then uh, there is a, a spread of 5 pipe. Now, if you see here, uh, if you look at here, uh, or when I did enter this market, didn't give me a to give me a negative. When I did enter the market, it's got two. Now, that two minus two is like I pay the spread. That's like the price that you're paying on the currency. So I pay the currency so I'm, I'm buying this this was a uh, euro and canadian dollar now i buy euro and canadian dollar so i can sell so i buy the pay so that spread it was like negative that the man that i pay now to go to positive now i'm scoring now here now to go to positive now i am now uh, gaining benefit now because if you want to go to negative you are losing now that's the two things here so when you enter the market always you're going to start from negative Every time you enter the market like this here, it's always that negative. So when you see a negative here, I am losing. But when I see a positive, then I'm gaining. I'm, I'm doing a swimming. So currently here, I'm not really losing because uh, my equity is still there. So this can change because my indicators shows me what's going here. I will score the money. Uh, the spread and the swap. The swap, if you look at here on my care, this is got a swap. Now the swap, this is the price of money that I'm paying to the uh, the broker. If I close here, I'm using a Forex time FXMT brokers. Now the FXM broker, it's one of the brokers I'm using. So they also uh, uh, they charge they charge their customers swap. So they also take a percent on what? Uh, just like example, uh, you wanna open a shop. Now, you need to buy a market. Now, my market, it's the currency. The, my currency, the, when I buy this currency, they charge me. And after, I'm start trading now here. Yeah. Well, I am trading because I'm using someone's broker, as broker. They're going to charge me a swap. Like here, they charge me 1.15 because this is like the last mail for um, they charge me this one here. Yeah. So this will get out of my balance. And then here, yeah, it's still trading. So anything can change. It can go up, it can go down according to technical analysis. The theory says swap is amount that is credited or debit to any account due to a position held over a night. Swap free or share. Let's say um, this for a day, for two days, I left here in trading. Now, if to sleep, they will charge me money because I'm using it. But if you look at here, enter now, as you see now here, I can also get out like here. I'm scoring now point zero point now. Now, now, now I'm gaining profit now here. I can get out from here or I can put a, a, stop, a, a, a take profit down here. I can put my take profit when it reach my take profit and then it get automatically and I'm not going to pay a swap because it didn't, it didn't went overnight. Now that's a benefit for that is a swap. It's, it's like you're paying uh, the fee according to how long you're using uh, the trading. And leverage, it's the minimum amount that uh, the broker would allow to use. Uh, it's a common practice in currency trading and allow trader to get, to greatly magnify the speed and impact the trader. They place without risking too much on their own part, uh, capital uh, leverage. is used to vary financial instruments or borrow capital such as a margin and increase the uh, purchase sale power. Now, um, the different brokers offer variable level of leverage, depend upon our account type and account balance and various other factors such as experience and profit traders now. Go FX. This is the type of a program we're using currently, FX broker. If you go to uh, here to FXCM, you can read much about the information. They have different accounts. The cheapest account that has it starts from ten dollar, but on other account you have to the one hundred dollar and then also five hundred dollar, depending of which account you choose. On the next video, we will discuss about this when we would discuss about the meta trader. As I discussed in the first video, you got a dealing desk and a non dealing desk, depending on what type of broker that you're involved in. Some are expensive, then some of are cheaper, and then there's a reason why it's expensive, and there's more benefit that you get also. Now, the problem is one here this is equity. This must not go loud. Now, let me 
give you a clue how people making money to discuss about the margin margin is amount of money that is secure for a position or trader trade margin can be considered as a deposit that in a set assists from your account you need to have a minimum average of money in your account in order to for to, for you to trade now if my margin go down and i'm losing now this is very important the equity this is what i have i don't have this money there is a balance but this is uh, the margin so the margin it's i'm trading of this one year so the only money i have if i want to pull the money is this one year let's say i'm gonna i'm gonna draw money in my account and i can only do 83 80, 80 uss out of my account i can't do 100 because why the other money it's in the a, a trading a busy in trading like here yeah, i'm uh, i'm busy um getting a profit it's going to positive i'm getting a profit now the problem now here yeah, you understand here yeah, to understand this year is that here yeah. if i did put a actually at this time it will be maybe to five or to ten or to twenty now because i put a small one then i am also gaining small the reason why i put a small one because i'm look at my margin because if i put a big lot if this thing go in the wrong direction it's now what my margin and if it's what my margin and minimize my equity and take all my money and i'm out of the market now that is a big mistake so now that's why you must do a practical training that way they'll explain to you what's going on the trading because the more you, if you understand this philosophy you will lose your money the other benefit for trading is that no one lose on trading if you understand this philosophy why look i'm gonna show you something here i'm gonna minimize here um trading work with what you call what goes around comes around like the the earth 10 about 365 days so it turned from point a to back to point a uh the full year so it's months moving in the other direction and the same thing what goes around comes on so it's not turn from uh, day one to 25 come back to the same place so now that's how uh, trading work so it's uh, actually it's difficult for you to lose if you have enough capital in your account uh, with um, uh, trading now the trading what it does it's going up down up down up down like you see here let's say you buy here you sell here from here you lose your money you lose your money but if your passions it will come back and it's come back and you gain your money back because from here you buy from here you sell you make a mistake to sell and then the trade light and the, the, the system lie to you um, you lose your money but if you are patient you let go you don't get out of the market because once you close your market you lose your money so you let it go like here i'm losing 0.24 here if i close here this 24 will get out of my balance now i'll leave it i don't worry because i know the market will turn down because what goes around comes around so when it's going up and up and up it's come down 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 now let's say it's going because i actually what i'm doing i'm selling now here now if i look at let me look at the currency uh, it's ond uh, it's uh, australian to new zealand look where i sell so actually here yeah, what uh, what happened here i did do that so you can see the diff what kind of mistake but i did sell only for small money so just to see how it works so even if it, i'm losing it's not too much it doesn't affect me now look here i sell from here and then when i sell from here and then by mistake it went up 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 then i lost money so this is was a big money i was losing over to like 90. but look now here now it's coming back now it's coming back it's not do like this not do like this now until when you reach your money come back to zero and then if it go more down then i'm profit at the moment i'm losing on this one but on this one i am getting a profit now that's a benefit of uh, market now look at the let's look at the, the market before you see here uh, from here people there are people who sell here or buy here people who sell from here from here they take a lot of money but people who, who, who uh, people who did who did buy from here they lost the money they lost the money but from here they take your money back they even they, they get the profit because why if you look at there's a limit let's say you buy from here 
If you buy somewhere here, it's going down. You lost your money. 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 Yeah, from here, you 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 gain your money back, and then you start gaining more and more and more. Now, this can happen in a few days. Like this is happening in a couple of days, or week, or second, or month, depending on which type of trading you're doing. But now, what now? The secret now. The secret is that now. Yeah. Not everyone can be succeed to here and then come here and reach here. You can only succeed if you have a nice equity. If your equity go down, from here you lost your money. So make sure when it's going down, you, your equity don't go to zero. If your equity go to zero, lost your money. But if you have a nice capital, then it would mean you can gain your money back in a couple of days in a couple of weeks just like people buying a bitcoin they buy bitcoin at a lower price and the bitcoins go more lower more lower they wait for a couple of days and a couple of months and the bitcoin go higher they sell it now the same thing for forex if you understand the philosophy for forex it's difficult for you to lose you always gonna win you always gonna gain income but you need to have a good capital, so you need to put enough money. And before to put enough money, you need first to understand to do a practical training. Don't go straight to put your real money, you will lose. Don't confuse if I am gaining money here or I am losing here, and then I know what I'm doing, so I know if I'm gonna lose here, if not lose, so I can be patient, this money will come back, and here I'm gonna gain profit, here I'm losing, I'm losing, but I will get my money back because I study it, I know it's gonna come back. I will be patient or come back. So you need to understand too a practical behind it. Otherwise, you will lose your money. So don't involve this without doing a practical because there's a philosophy behind this that you need to do a patch call training so that you can win once you understand the philosophy of uh, trading and then you know what you're doing i guarantee you there is no lose in uh, there is no lost in this market because it's a business there's only what you call a passion and then focus you must be disciplined if you follow the rules and discipline and passion you will always make money with trading if you invest a lot of money then you become a millionaire like a joke. But you need to understand theory. Now, that's the philosophy behind. Uh, move on. Uh, market volatility is a measure of how the price of financial instrument vary over time. It does not measure the direction of the price change. But rather market direction, it is the result of the various ex uh, external factors such as the stock market, news and world, uh, world and event and therefore trader must follow the news in order to educate their trader. So this is very important. You must follow forex indicators. Now one of the help can help you. The forex indicator can help you to, uh, to uh, identify what's going in the market because sometimes it's difficult for you to watch all the market uh, to see because let's say if there's something wrong in South Africa or in Kenya uh, let's say you you trading uh, rent and then you look at now something that politicians are fighting maybe then you took opportunity to buy because I believe when things going like as we discussed in the video one uh, political risk when there's a political influence and the rent the money or the currency also go down so you use the opportunity to buy so the other thing you must look at if you trade the currency. Now, sometimes, as I said, it's difficult for you to know what's going on. Now, the reason why uh, 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 you need to have indicators. The indicators are technical analysis. Indicators are usually uh, used to forecast price change on the ma on the currency market. They are calculated, which is take the volume and the price of a certain financial instrument into account. There are thousands of type of indicators, and by using Fox indicator, trader can make decision about market entry and exit. Now, if you look at my, my trade here, I'm not entering because I'm getting excited. I am looking at my indicators. If you use this platform of what indicator, it's very difficult to identify the where there's an issue and where there's no issue. So you need to go read more news. If you don't read more news, it's difficult. You can lose money. And that's why it's very important to, ident to identify the best indicators because it's difficult. Uh, because some, uh, um, some of the videos you see on YouTube are mostly they uh, are mostly focused on explaining you what is the how the market move up and down but when it comes to a really um, 
trading, it's very difficult when you are using the naked uh, uh, platform and it is for you to, uh, to lose the money because the indicator is really, really helpful to know when to buy and when to sell because it helps you to do a technical analysis and then you can decide if you can sell it and buy. But compared to this, some of this uh, uh, naked uh, uh, platform or meta trade uh, uh, like, like this one here, it's difficult for you. You may also make a mistake easily, except for those people who mainly depend on signals, like if you're buying a signal. But if you don't have a signal, it's difficult. So the benefit of indicators that they can also help you to identify. Now, the indicator really does the rule of you to identify the signal and so you can decide to buy and to sell by yourself. Now, that's how signals are very beneficial when it comes to trading. Now, to avoid all these confusions, you need to know what you call indicators. Now, indicator, I cannot give indicator now here because you do not install it and the different indicators. Some of the indicators are waste of time, but some of them are the best indicators. Now, that is the indicator. So, the indicator, actually what it does, like here, if I open this here, look here, I've got several of indicators. I put indicators that all of them, they let me know, they know buy or sell or sell or buy, which is, I cannot explain now here because we we'll just give introduction. So I can remove them, I can delete these indicators if they are confusing me. But I do have indicators that I like to use. You can also, when you get involved with it, you will identify the best indicators. From here, I can look at my indicators, look at this and look at this, and then the indicator will say, no, buy now. And I'll go and buy. Now that's a benefit. So indicators just like a signal. It's a software to help you. The software, it it look at what's going in the world and then let you know, hey, Britain, Great Britain is changing now. Now there's a market now here. Yeah. I also got indicator that, that give me a signal. Ting, ting, go buy this. Ting, ting, go buy this. Now that's a benefit indicator which we does in particular. If you come for particular from us, you will learn more about indicators. Those what we give on particular training. You will hear about uh, the three type of uh, market on Forex. There are three main type of uh, trend. The uptrend downtrend or sideways now if you where the market is uh, uptrend which mean it's a, a buying that's that when you must buy don't buy when it's written up you buy when it's sold on the beginning don't buy something when thing was was already in the market long and then you can buy later so you buy on the uptrend which is a, a, a long position and then you sell on downtrend which is a short position and then sometimes there is what you call consolidate which is a, a side way yeah, this is very funny. On this market, you don't gain money. It's in and out. So there, don't enter the market. Just keep quiet. Uh, the only people making money on this one, it's people who trading as a sky pop. I'll discuss this now, yeah? Because they are going to short and small, short and small. So the market is this way. So which I mean, you lose, you gain, you lose, you gain, you lose, you gain. So it's not really. So you mostly only make money on here, on uptrend. You're going up, you, 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 if you buy, you gain profit but if you sell you lost the money you make money on downstream if if you sell you make profit if you buy you lost but that's in two different places you must understand like i showed another drawing here sometimes they call them a bulk which is a mean upstand and then a beer which is a downstand uh, to make it clear here, yeah, if you understand here, yeah, when I went to this market here yeah, when i went to property i went to change the day a uh, bar, uh, bull candle, a uh, 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 bull candle, which is mean the one going up, and then I went also to property again, and then I changed the color for beer candle, which is coming down. Now these are the candles. So now these are the market. Uh, I don't like to play this. If I uh, if I trade like this, I will lose the money. So I don't trade like this. I trade with indicators. It's easy for me. I can see what's going in the market. I can see here. Yeah, I can buy here. Yeah. I can even look at the. I can also look at the the old market. Like yeah, I can see. Okay, this was happening last week or last month or last week. There's some color. Some uh, indicator will show me. Like I can see the date here, yeah. on 11 May, on 26 June, on 9 October. It shows me what's happening in the past. I can see what's going. It's okay. The market was playing as I say, it. Uh, 10 what goes on comes around. So if you have a nice equity, you can't lose money in trading. You only lose money if you don't have a nice equity and also you're playing with a higher lot. Now that's a benefit for trading. If you understand trading and you have a nice equity, 
uh, a nice you put invest a lot of money you will you know the philosophy you do a patch call maybe for more days it's fun don't let someone dismiss you say that you do a trading patch call for one day then you can trade it's lying to you it's difficult you need to do a uh, you gain experience you must trade with a couple of days like here yeah, we give uh, a training for about 10 about 10 to 20 days so you take long to understand a very confusing you must understand indicators you must understand the software you must understand the currency you must understand the market and uh, there's no joke don't involve with what you hear from people first learn before you involve on this one here the different type of traders there are four main type of forex traders the scalper the scalper the main objective of a forex scalper is to grab a very small amount of pipe as many time as they can through the busiest time of the day now what they're doing here if i go to the market here they're just looking for opportunity like this now he's just watching something like this here if you see the market go a buy then in a few seconds then they get out so it's like here i can see here i did enter a long time as i'm explaining i'm solely in the market if it was a scalper i will go out already they don't last but now the benefit the difference is that i I'm entering what you call, if I go back, a streaming. I'm actually using a swinging trader. A swing trader is the main purpose for, for Forex swing, swing, is to trade for different time on their free time. It is one of the trading type of some, some trader who have a full time job or school or but all have enough free time to, to stay up to date with what going on in the global economy. So yeah, I'm trading slow, I'm not rushing. But I'm looking for opportunity. But if you don't know the indicators, don't even try it. And the, the day trader, the day trader, it's a main purpose for the forex for day trader is to to picking a side at the beginning of the day, acting on their technique, and then finish the day with either profit or loss. And lastly, it's a position trader. The position is the main purpose of the forex. Uh, the for the forex position trader is to trade for longest time time trading and can have trader uh, that lasts for several months or several years this kind of forex trader trading is reserved for the ultra passion trader or requires a good understanding of fundamentally excited most people do a portion trading there are people who have a, a, a huge capital like a one million of dollar and he he can continue and trade because they have a capital a capital uh, position so he can take any risk and then he can leave the trading as we discussed in the beginning uh it's go down and up and down so can go back come back you can enter here selling somewhere here. Now it's going up is losing, losing. Doesn't worry because why? He knows not come back. Why? Because his balance is big and the quick can be maybe one million here. So even if the money's going out, does not affect his money. And they, they don't eat that money. They, they, it doesn't lose it because why? It's still it's still in the trading activity. And then on the come day, like you can see, the, the market was going up and up and up and up and up and now it's going down, down, down. From here, and then notice that all oh, my money is back and I'm getting a pop, then you get off the market. Then you come here, close the market, then the money go up. Now that's a benefit of a uh, portion trader. So if you're a portion trader, make sure you have a huge amount of money in your account and then you enter the big market and then the swing trader it's what most people like if you are new i advise to play a swing trader the swing trader if you have indicators i can enter the market from here even from here but i'll enter a small lot because i'm, I'm avoiding to lose my money because as let's, let's say here i i did buy but i make a mistake that mistake i make i'm losing now here but because i only use a small lot I'm not worrying like here on this year. A small, I'm not worrying much because I know it's not coming back. Now it went down, 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 and from here it's coming back up and up, up. Now from here I will start gaining my money back. It can go down again and and again and if it go more up, then I gain profit. And if I see I can profit, I can put a take a profit. Come here and get out the market and the money go up. A daily trader, what they're doing? They're actually doing like this. Um, they will put, they will study the market, they watch the news, they say, okay, they know that today, uh, news land and the USD, uh, US will go down, then they'll buy maybe from here, and then they leave and they're gone. 
uh, like the position traders but the only different position traders sit for a couple of months or days days or year and then now they wait because they have enough equity enough balancing even if they're losing they don't worry because the money will come back uh, let's say they enter from here and they was, they were buying from this side here now and then the left they enter here They, they, they buy from here and the left. Now the whole day, this the, uh, this thing went up, it came down, went up, it came down, went up. I mean, when they come at the end of the day, they realize they end up here. Now they gain money because if you look at here, the gap between year to year, if I take my, my line, now the market's currently here now here. Now look here, if you draw the line like this, now this is the money that they, they win. So this, this pipe multiplied by the lot how much lot they put that amount of money so if they play maybe for two or hundred or whatever a lot of they put a lot of money they make a lot of money day now that's a day trader so you must be careful of what about most of other traders not good except if you have enough money and if you enough equity if you don't have enough equity don't even involve it now the the scalper it's the people who are focusing daily, every time they are like that, but they don't enter the market just because of that. They only look up opportunity. Now, it only depends in a few seconds. So in a few seconds, they will enter the market, sell or buy. And if the market got the right position and they get out of the market and win. But if it got the wrong position, they lose because they actually put a higher amount of load. So and they take a huge risk and they don't last in the market because the market can go back anytime or can go, can return back to the wrong position and lose because of the higher load they use. So now that that's the benefit of um, of this trading when you come to on trading now here yeah. and lastly i will discuss about now you understand now if you read this story guys uh, i will i'll upload this uh, powerpoint uh, uh, on our website you can download on the link below uh, below the the video on youtube and then you can get that one now the one thing you must understand, these are the best broker. I did put some of the name of the best broker you can trust because be careful. Uh, in order for you to have uh, this, you must face a resistor. If you resist, then you will be able to uh, trade online. If you don't resist, you can't trade online. So you face a resistor of any different brokers. I put a list of some best brokers on the on our powerpoint so you can look which one here the difference that some of them i have different price and some of them have a cheaper price of level uh, leverage how much price they charge you depending on and then lastly uh, the different type of forex uh, platform you use in broker at african invention we give a protocol or meta trade for now you find different platform they use meta trade mid trader uh, station and uh, Ta Trader 5, Ninja Trader, and C Trader, Robot, and, and the Chatting Trader. Now, this is the platform, like what you see here. This is a platform that we're using for MetaTrader. I'm using MetaTrader 4. You can see it if I minimize here. Uh, this is uh, a MetaTrader MT4. Now, this is the reason why I'm using MetaTrader because the most popular one, some of them are using a, a Ninja Trader. And this is at the moment, MetaTrader 4 is the most used platform. Doesn't matter which broker you're using, you may resist another broker. As less they have the MetaTrader 4, the one I'm using here, uh, you come for patch call from us, you will be able to trade any broker. But you just need to make sure uh, we are only trading, we are focused more on MetaTrader, uh, uh, MetaTrader 4 because this is the best one. Uh, we know how to use it. And if you use it, you make a couple of money at uh, trading. And lastly, in order for you to register, you need to have an email address, your ID uh, information or passport. You will need your passport or your ID identity of your country to register. Your bank account, you need to have a bank account. You need to choose the best broker based on the theory above explaining. Depend on the $10, 100 500 1000 depend on the type of the broker you choose. As you can come here, you will Google them and read the information about them. 
camouflage will train you and if you are not in south africa we will provide a day where we will give this course online a practical online days that will have like a practical online will assist you online but at the moment we're not yet online we're busy uh, doing if you live in, in cape town you can come and do a trading a practical trading in our trainings and to win because i cannot trade someone in one day two days expect to go win you will lose your money so we trade off demo so that you can understand you do a really protocol and before you put your really money because it's a work it's not a gambling it's a work you need to understand them believe our next video will be we will explain only the program what is this what is this what, and but on a patch call sorry unfortunately you need to attend patch call i cannot advise you to watch this video and watch the three video that we're putting online uh, video one and video two and video three and then expect you to go win the money i need you to go to a patch call or you can watch a video and do first a patch call where we discuss or uh, you attend the program a patch call training if you're in cape town or you attend the program online we will put it there we will give this course the pure patch call online uh, you need to assist you to install the program on your computer and then watch the video and we trade together online it we will do that in a couple of coming days Thanks so much for watching this video and see you for a next video. Please don't forget to subscribe at uh, African Youth Invention YouTube so that you can learn much about AYI training subject. We get a lot of power training on video work clip and video editing and the other stuff things. Thanks. See you for next video. One, two, three, four. Big mic beat my cursor, pesa, posa, pesa, cosa, nyoso, nyoso, liza, ho. African youth invention, creation, African youth invention, perfection, exigence, one condition, best tempo, original method, pick my cosa.